Ekechi Obani, the good practitioner, joins us this time. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you. Well, it's amazing, in spite of, I mean, almost every now and then, when local government elections are about to happen, not just in this state, in most of the other states, if not all of them in the country, you get to hear one complaint or the other from one party or the other from one section of this country or the other. And then you ask yourself, how long are we going to keep going with these kind of stuff, or is it that that's just democracy at play? Well, it's, it's not you know issue of democracy. Well, one of it is democracy at play. People agitate for power, change, and all that. Of course, you need to you know run down the other administration for you <laughs> to come in and all that. But the point is that the facts on ground you know actually justify most of the complaints. Uh, the local government administration that's supposed to be a grassroots administration that should affect the lives of people. People's lives are not being touched. And so when people are complaining, of course, the facts on ground, reps is aloquito, the facts speaks for itself. Tell us about it. What kind of facts are you talking about? I'm talking about infrastructural development. The constitutional role assigned to the local government under the constitution is not being performed by the what local What were they government. doing before that they've not been doing now? Well, they, that's what I'm going to say. They've not, you know, prior to 70, yes. uh, 99, there was, there was a local government reform in 76, I was, I was speaking to you of air, and then that particular reform took into cognizance the autonomy of local government, the, the, the funding, the function, and then those things were you know, clearly spelled out. And there was people were feeling the administration of local government 76 to uh, the time 79 that the person just left power. Now under the Second Republic and up to now, there has been uh, an improper definition of local government uh, role. Uh, the bureaucracy is not well defined, and we've been having one problem or the other. Okay. Even under the 1999 constitution, there are so many mistakes being made by that constitution. Because in the 70s, the military, yes. they, they ran almost as a state. Yes. The funding was they, they funded, the exactly, And there was autonomy. There was autonomy. They gave them money to, you know, and well, people well, were well, feeling the part of local government administration. Yes. Oh, yeah, I think yes. you just answered my question. I was yes. going to ask if it was better then and all that. Yes. But, but again, remember how we all got into this particular state. Uh, right. Because uh, after a time, mm. uh, People stop seeing all of those developments. Yes, yes. Teachers were not being paid. Very Some good. teachers under the local government administration we saw the health centers and even places uh, for uh, antenatal yes. clinics were mm -hmm. so bad. Yes. So is it better off to put the monies in, in the hands of the state government so that they can start operating them uh, on behalf of the uh, council chairman? It, it is not as simple as that. You know, if we have properly defined a third tier of government, and we feel that everyone belongs, even you, you, you belong to a local government, even uh, President Jonathan, uh, even if Aso Rock is not under a local government uh, uh, bureaucracy, where he comes from, his state, he's under local government. So grassroots uh, uh, politics and democracy is supposed to affect your life and my life. And it has to be constitutional. The constitution must make express and elaborate provision as to, one, the function, as to the structure, as to the funding. The 1999 constitution left all that incohate and say I, it guarantees the creation of local government by the state uh, government, but did not go further to specify the way it did with state government, you know, the functions, the structure. So the, local, the state government now begin to create the structure and all that. Most of them, they create different structure, different from other states and all that. And then the issue of funding, nowhere specified. Now, when you bring the, 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 the monthly allocation they do every month, and then you now put it in a local government state account. Now, the governors just give the local government chairman what they think or what they feel they should be given. They go and pay salaries and they do some of the other, and then give them their, their what they call security vote. And then the rest is retained by the state. And that's why you don't see any development. Any, and this is going on in all, of the, all, over the, all over the country. So would you say, yeah. are you exonerating the local government chairman, as it were, from all blame, even though they're sitting there in yes. name? It seems yeah. Yeah, their hands when, are tied. When they're playing the lame dog, then I, I shouldn't exonerate them because it's supposed to cry out. A, a particular local government chairman, chairman came here from Ogun State that his money was being tapped and he, he, he restored uh, uh, Daniel at that point. I said, look, give me all my money that is given to me by Abuja so that I can develop my, my people. Because at every time I come, you give me what you feel like giving to me. That is wrong. It's unconstitutional. And uh, the man was removed and nobody said anything about it. All over the Federation, as I speak to you today, the governors do not give the local government chairman what they get from Abuja. They give to them what they feel like giving to them. And that's why you and I, we're not feeling the local government administration. Okay. We're not feeling anything. You Nothing know, is going you on. You talking about feeling the, yes. the local government. I asked uh, our last uh, guest here if uh, the local government is even important, if it yes. should stay. Uh, yes. But if I don't feel them, I don't get to know my councillor. Yes. I don't get to see my chairman in yes. action. Yes. 
then if everything is about the governor, mm. commissioner this and that, yes. shouldn't we just scrap the local government? No, it's, if you do that, then you are taking a very, uh, it's not a good move. What you need to do is to redefine the role of local government, define the function, the structure, and then the funding. They should be independent. If you ask me, I want a local government administration that should be independent. I am not saying that they will not steal. But I tell you, if you give them 100%, probably they will, like every typical Nigerian politician, they may steal 70, I mean, and return 30 and develop, or even steal 30 and use 70 to develop. But it's a different ballgame when you don't even give them the 100%. Well, the they, state government are also stealing, as I speak to you today. They get all their location, they steal as much, and still some areas, there are, there's some development. <coughs> we have development in, 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 we have development in Lagos State and River State. So they still steal, but they return some level of amount of money to do some development. No, 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 like but now they don't get anything local government at all, even not even want to steal. Legations will go to the polls in uh, a couple, some hours, uh, days from now. Uh, what should they be looking out for? Because you, when you talk about how mm. uh, the local government should be, or what uh, we expect from local government yes. administration, uh, if I'm a, uh, as a constituent of my local government, what kind of uh, development or things should I be expecting from my council so that I know? What to do on a Saturday like this? Beautiful. I, I, I recommend that every Nigerian should study the constitution. Look at the first schedule. That particular schedule specifies the role of local government administration in Nigeria. So that you know how what you are looking forward to them doing when they come into power. And then who is fitted to be in that position. There has been a, a particular political party that has been in power and all that. How have the local government administration of that political party affect the lives of people? So people now should shine their eye and begin to look for people that can affect their lives. Looking at the role specified by the constitution and what they should do and what they should not do. There are areas that are exclusive to local government. There are areas also concurrent. The state government can also, like issue of uh, health and or even school and all that. Lagos state, I mean, the state government comes the local government also does some certain things. But the areas that are exclusive, like issue of burial, market and all that, you know, building the cemeteries and all that. These are, and then coll collecting tenement rate and all that. It's exclusive to them. Yeah. Now, then we feel only their presence when they come to collect levies. When they come and do taxation and all that. Then other areas of development, you don't feel them. So people now should begin to ask questions. And now begin to define the role they're supposed to occupy and do. And then insist that issue of funding must be tackled. Because, well, it, yes. Talking about funding, for yeah. instance, I mean, who's going to champion this course? Because it was only, I think, about a week or two ago yes. that the uh, Association of Councillors in the country met and they were talking about funding. Yeah. They wanted their funding to come directly to them, yes. not through the states. Yeah, that, this, is a, this is the area I, I expect the President to champion constitutional amendment. I mean, the issue of amending that section that says every money that's supposed to go to local government must be, you know, uh, that must go into an account called local government state account. No. You give them their money direct, the way it was being done prior to, to 1999. Let them get their money direct and then do their decent, create institutions that are strong enough also to monitor what goes on there. The local, the councillors must be, you know, define their role. Maybe yeah. they even have a speaker. You know, to preside over the, the council, you know, yeah, they, 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 they do. Beautiful. And then define also the EFCC must also be established in every local government camp in order to monitor the, 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 the this, you know, disbursement of funds. If in the that, president that doesn't do it, who yes. else can? Well, the, the, the National Assembly, I mean, they, they have set up a committee. Nigerians can, you know, Nigerians have already given them, you know, a specimen of a constitutional decent. Nigerians have been writing. Even Nigerian Bar Association has set up a committee now on constitutional review. One of the things I think they also should, you know, talk about issue of local government administration. We should define that role properly. It's not defined. You just say the question guarantees the existence by state government. It doesn't define the role properly. And if you don't define the role properly, people can you know manipulate the loophole. And that is what is going on. And then you now went along and created a situation where there are money that is coming from Abuja. You know, we are distribution state. We just go Abuja, you know, you know, cap in hand, collecting money. When the money comes in, it doesn't get to them.